Now then YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kurt and today we're opening the latest Speed Duel product. It's new starter decks. Two decks in one box. It's called Ultimate Predators and we have here Rex Raptor and Weevil Underwood from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters series and these two are the annoying villains at some point in the show but slowly they get less and less uh, interesting or whatever. And we've got Serpent Knight Dragon and the perfectly ultimate great moth on the back there. And here it says Survival of the Fittest and those are the sets. So if you want to pause and spoil the opening you can look at all the cards that you're in. Includes two decks and they also get a variant card each just like the other starter decks. And here we go. So let's get right into it. Check out this new Speed Duel products. I think there is now three booster sets now. Arena of Lost Souls. The one with Kyber on, <laughs> Blade Knight, and the one with Joey on, Scars of Battle, that just came out. And if you're interested in any of these products, the starter decks, or any of the booster sets, you can check them out on my website, tailandtailor.co.uk, or be in the description if you want to purchase any Speed Duels products for yourself. Worldwide shipping. Okay, that's that would be pretty cool as a playmat probably exists, they probably printed it, but that looks very nice. Got the ultimate great moth, Serpent Knight Dragon. I think Serpent Knight Dragon um, only had like two or three printings. You've got this, the original in Spell Ruler, and one in Legendary Collection Jelly, something like that. So it's very nice to uh, have. Okay, here we are, here we are, the two decks. Let's hit with the box, and there's a little cards to show you who's who. So who should we start with? Should we start with Weevil first? Start with Weevil and his insect deck. They are bringing more and more characters to Speed Duels pretty quick, aren't they? They got Bandit Keith in the last set as well. So here we go. So we got the card. Advertising Duel Links, of course. The variant card on top, the Ultra Rare Jara of Avarice. Avarice. And the Speed Duel watermark is in the description. And you got some skill cards. You can activate the skill while you control level 3 or lower insect. Normal monster discard 2 can contribute 1 level 3 or lower insect. Normal monster you control to special summon one perfectly ultimate great moth. Just straight up get that perfectly ultimate great moth on the field. Ignoring its summoning conditions, any damage your opponent takes for the rest of the turn is half. So you do do half damage. You do do half damage with that skill card. But you do get to get the ultimate great moth on the field instantly. Hidden Parasite. Once per turn you can change all monsters on the field to insect types. He liked to do that, didn't he? Also, any battle damage your opponent takes is halved for the rest of the turn. Okay. Definitely prefer the Hypermat Morphsis, I believe. Yeah, a bit of glare, so I'm going to put these two guys in there. So there is the ultimate great moth. It does take some time to summon without that, with the cocoon, if I remember correctly. Tribute one Petite Moth on your 6th turn or later after it was equipped with Cocoon of Evolution. Now in Duel, in Speed Duels and in Dueling, 6 turns is a long time for a game I guess to go on. So this guy is a slow burn if you don't use the skill card. Yeah, nice to have. We got Petite Moth which is needed for summoning. Big Insect, Basic Insect. Look at the nostalgia. There is some nostalgia in those two cards there. And then you got Winged Cleaver, Kumoto, Ko, Il Alan Section, Alan Section. Never heard of that card before, but I recognise the artwork. Maybe they changed the name. Insect Queen. This is the one he, that Joey beat in Battle Z and managed to have. That's the cardy one. Cocoon of Evolution. You need this to turn the Petite Moth into the ultimate great thing. Manita Bug. I'm sure that's going to be in the matter of speed duels for a long time till they make a ban list or something. Pinch Hopper, Insect Princess, Gokipon, two Gokipons, okay, B List Soldier, B Tron, Laser Cannon Armor, yep, that was used in like the first or second episode. Forest, uh, forest Field Spell, Verdant Sanctuary, Continuous Spell, Insect Neglect, Worm Bait. Enchanting Fitting Room, Dark Factory of Mass Production, that's probably also going to be a meta card if Exodia ever comes to Speed Duels, which I doubt. Amulet of Ambition, White Elephant's Gift, Eradicate and Aerosol, Spider Egg, Corrosive Scales. That's quite a good card. 
to be in speed tools because that was in the legendary was that in the legendary duelist set adhesion trap hole and order to smash so that was weevil underwood's deck for speed duels jar of avarice is the card there just put that on top so you know it's him and then let's go into the dinosaurs and the serpent knight dragon with rex with rex raptor And his variant card is a quick play spell called Order to Charge. Target one non-token normal monster you control. Tribute that normal monster. And if you do, if you do destroy one opponent, you must group. Target one non-token normal monster you control. Tribute that normal monster. And if you do destroy one monster, your opponent controls. Okay. Dinosaur Kingdom. See, I was wondering if this card was going to be as a field spell, but no, it's a skill card. And it's just all dinos. Dinos gain 300 attack. Then you got Nightmare Sonic Blast. You can activate the skill while you control Serpent Night Dragon. Okay. Once per turn, you can reveal the top four cards of your deck. Use one of the following skills, dis depending on the number of monsters revealed. So if it's one monster, add one of the revealed cards to your hand. If it's two monsters, destroy one card your opponent controls. And if it's three, apply both effects. Then place the rest of the revealed cards on top of your deck in any order. Sorry about the blur there. Yeah, that's pretty strong for speed duels right now. And we have Serpent Knight Dragon. Classic spell ruler or magic ruler card. A dragon created from the soul of a wicked knight. Doing terrible with this with this camera. Come on now. There we go. Serpent Knight Dragon. Two-headed King Rex. Rex's card, you know. This is the card that you associate with him. Yurabi. Two Yurabis. They were in the way back when first Yugi and Kaiba starter decks. Crawling Dragon number two. Tomasaurus. Anthrosaurus, Black Tyranno, Super Ancient Dino Beast, Mad Sword Beast, that was in the Kaiba starter deck, the second one, Gillosaurus, you can special summon this card from your hand, if summon this way, activate this effect, your opponent can special summon the Lord Monster from their graveyard. Now this is great for spamming. The Bard Gale Lizard from Invasion of Chaos, Dark Triceratops, Hyper Hammerhead, Elementsaurus, Black Stego, Gentle Manda. Okay, that looks something out of um, Performer Pals. Raise Body Heat, Ultra Evolution Pill. Space Time at Transcendence, Cost Down. This is getting straight put in Kyber um, Speed Duel decks. Wow. Discard one card for the rest of this turn. Reduce the levels of all monsters in your hand by two. Summoner's Art, White Elephant's Gift again. Heat Wave, Card Advance, Card Advance, Hunting Instinct, Reinforcements, Pharaoh's Treasure, and Limit Impulse. So oh, that was good. That was that was a pretty strong deck there. In comparison to the starter decks that we got before. I wonder if they'll do any more. I wonder if we'll get some Merrick. Some Merrick starter deck. I would love that. Um, so let me know what you think of these decks. Let me know what, what you think of Speed Duels. And are there any cards in here that you would put in any of the other decks to make something crazy? And this looks pretty cool actually. Then you got the corresponding monsters right there so if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos and i will see you in the next one bye